take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And just exhale. Any tension, any stress. Enabling you to go deeper and deeper relaxed. I want you to entertain the idea that it is only possible to hold on to feelings of anxiety with shallow breathing from your chest and therefore by activating the diaphragm and exhaling until your lungs are completely empty The next inward breath in becomes a deep, diaphragmatic breath, giving you feelings of resourceful relaxation and exhaling any tension, any anxiety, enabling you to go deeper and deeper relaxed. As your body relaxes, I want you to imagine a beautiful beach in Mexico. I want you to imagine rocks that go out into the ocean across the sand. Huge rocks with an arch that you could just walk under. In fact, I want you to imagine of a golden sandy beach in Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. And I want you to imagine there is the most comfortable chair, a reclining chair there on that sandy beach and it's just completely private no one there but you and I want you to imagine that you can see through the arch to the blueness of the water and the intensity of the colours in the sky and just imagine as you lie on that reclining chair there on the beach with the golden sand looking at the the rock formation noticing the whiteness of some rocks the golden color of others just how relaxed you're becoming in fact as you lie there on that chair I'm going to count down from 10 to 1 and you will imagine what it would be like with each descending number to feel 10% deeper and deeper relaxed. 10. Just releasing any tension around your eyelids, eyebrows, around the eyes. That's it. 9. Focusing on the muscles in your jaw, your cheeks, around your mouth there on that chair looking out at the beauty of this beach feeling deeply deeply relaxed letting go of any tension eight now focusing on the muscles in the back of the neck across the shoulders just imagine the the heat of that mexican sun starting to release feelings of tension there in your shoulders melting away any worries and tension at all seven that feeling of relaxation goes down into your arms so that your arms all the way down your biceps triceps down into your forearm all the way down into your fingers just go so limp loose and relaxed almost feeling like your arms aren't yours anymore that they're just there limp and floppy by your side enabling you to 
just release that tension in your arms. Six, as you breathe in, noticing that your breath is also relaxing. You can now breathe in and breathe out effortlessly. As five, even your internal organs are relaxing. Allow your heart to relax, stomach to relax, lungs and diaphragm. They all relax, enabling you to breathe even deeper and to just let go, feeling your eyelids getting heavier and heavier. That's it. Down into your gut, release any feelings of anxiety. And then four, your legs. Again, release any feelings of tension. You need tension in your legs if you're standing, but here on this chair, on a picturesque beach, you don't need tension in your legs, so just allow them to be limp, loose and floppy, that's it. Three, down into the calf muscles, and then two, into your feet, and one, imagine falling asleep there on that chair. Still hearing the breaking of the waves on the shore. Still feeling the sun on your skin, but there, on the chair, with your eyes closed. And I want you to recall in your life, all those times that you encountered adversity. And you treated that adversity like a problem. A problem that gave you the ability to seek out answers and solutions. And think how many times you did that. If it only happened once, you could put it down to luck. But again, and again, and again, you encountered difficult problems, not of your making, and you found a solution. And you implemented that solution. And in doing so, you opened new doors of opportunity that hadn't have been there had you not found the solution to the problem. In fact, what is life if it isn't? Levels of a game and each game has new problems that need new solutions. And at some point playing this game, you don't mind going up a level because you've had success at the levels that came before that. And I want you to accept the suggestion that you are more resourceful than you realize. That you're better at solving problems And that secretly, deep down, there's a part of you that likes to be doubted. There's a part of you that likes when people underestimate your capabilities. Because it's like a lock where a key is being turned opening up additional resources on top of the ones that are already there to put you in a state of absolute certainty to be convinced that there is an answer somewhere and you're going to find it. I want you to think of a time where You were working and there was a problem and you thought you knew the answer. All your experience up to that point led you to the belief that what you thought would work would work, but also you mitigated the risk by realizing that even if your idea didn't work, it wouldn't cause major harm. And I want you to think of a different area of your life. 
where you think you found a solution to a problem. And knowing that in a worst case scenario, no major harm will happen, and yet, there's a part of you that is convinced that it will be infinitely better than the very situation that you're moving away from. Your unconscious mind is connecting these two separate networks. These neural networks of neural pathways and realizing that you don't have to be the same person. You are professionally in your personal life. Just that you can implement the same thinking strategies. That you get joy out of solving problems. You get satisfaction from proving people wrong. But most of all, that you believe in your ability to find a way. Tap into that feeling that there is an answer somewhere and that you will find it because it means going forward in your life you will evaluate that either you can solve any problems that come your way or you can find a solution to those problems which in essence is saying bring it on I don't mind if there's problems because I enjoy finding a solution to them In your mind, I want you to create an image of a PA's desk. And I want you to imagine that that PA's desk is occupied by a very confident, self-assured version of you. See how they are dressed. See their facial expressions, see their mannerisms. This is a no-nonsense part of you that doesn't suffer fools. And I want you to imagine that this part of you is your own personal PA, a gatekeeper against irrelevant or low-value thoughts that don't need to occupy your mind. I want you to witness as a meek looking part that we can call self-doubt or worry sheepishly approaches this ultra confident version of your PA and starts off by saying in a very meek voice what if something happens in the future? And then see the reaction of this ultra-confident PA. Maybe asking questions, digging a bit deeper. And I want you to see that question after question is being presented. Worry, concern, fears, insecurities. And I want you to see that this ultra-confident gatekeeper, this PA is filtering out all of the nonsensical fears and worries and self-doubts. I want you to imagine what it would be like to occupy the body of that ultra-confident PA. And I want you to hear perhaps what in the past would have been a genuine thought that you would have entertained it being a problem in some way. But as you hear it being delivered in a meek, sheepish way, hear yourself responding in an ultra-confident way. Not in a rude way, 
but just in a very certain way that this isn't important enough to get past this level. That we have the resources to deal with something like this. We've done it before. We'll do it again. And if your unconscious mind agrees that you've been entertaining low-level thoughts and low-level worries that aren't worthy to occupy your conscious mind, just let me know by nodding your head. But I also want you to now separate from this and then have a conversation directly with this ultra-confident PA and make it crystal clear that they can filter out low-level worries and concerns, but if there's anything that truly could threaten your lifestyle, your quality of life, the things that you value most, it is essential that she lets you know immediately. Tell her that you like seeking out answers and finding solutions to new problems, but only if they're good problems, really challenging problems. And if she accepts, let me know by nodding your head. I want you to thank her in advance for her dedication and diligence to protect you from giving thought to unnecessary or low-level problems and concerns to free up time to do either things that you enjoy or to solve the really complex problems that you get so much satisfaction, elation, almost an empowered anger that comes from solving an issue that shouldn't even be there. It's now time to leave this PA's office of your mind, finding yourself back there on a reclined chair on a beach and get up out of that chair, walking around wearing whatever clothing is suitable to be on a beach in Mexico, feeling the sun on your skin and truly allowing yourself to relax, allowing yourself to just be, to enjoy the sun on your skin the sand beneath your toes and the water as you go into the sea. Because what is life without balance? And tap into that feeling of balance and a feeling of self-belief, self-worth. And then leave that place, finding yourself back in the present, listening to my voice. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, get a sense that all parts are back in the present. Realizing that you're not phased by future problems because you've got the ability to solve them or take yourself out of environments where you're not able to solve the problem. But trusting that your future version of you is going to be okay. In a few moments time, I will count from one to 10 to awaken you and you will awaken feeling resourceful, confident and unfazed in the full knowledge that your resources exceed future demands. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.